Hello and welcome to Just One More Watch. Welcome today to the review of a minimalist quartz piece from Northern Europe. Stop, stop, before you smash your phone on the ground or throw your cup of coffee at your computer monitor, hear me out for a second. Now, I know these quartz minimalist pieces are not going to be for everybody. That's fine, it takes all sorts to make up the watch buying community. And let's be honest, Look at these MVMTs, look at these Daniel Wellingtons, they sell in absolutely ridiculous numbers. So there must be a market for these pieces. And believe me, I get plenty of offers from companies selling these minimalist quartz pieces. Hi, love your channel, we'll send you a watch, would you please review it? And usually I politely decline because frankly, the watches are crap but I was delighted to look at this Lilenthal Berlin because it's a little bit different. It takes quartz minimalism up a notch. Let's flip the camera and get a closer look. So what are we gonna do today then? Well, I find that opening the box is usually a good first step. Should be noted that unlike a lot of these other kind of pretender quartz Euro minimalist pieces that are made in China, this one is made in Germany and that extends even to the packaging. This box is made in Germany. As mentioned, some nice little touches with this watch, take it up a notch. However, there is a flaw. There is a flaw on this piece that I would think is unforgivable on a $50 watch. And this is not a $50 watch. This is a 220 US dollar watch. We'll get to that a little later on. So some lifestyle packaging type stuff, some postcards. You can tell all your friends that you bought a Linenthal Berlin. And inside there is a very attractive, very simple looking little watch. Now on the Linenthal Berlin website, there's a kind of choose your own adventure. There's a bunch of different cases you can choose from. There's also two different case sizes, uh, 42 and a half millimeter. I went for the smaller 37 and a half millimeter. I guess this is more aimed at ladies, but I do enjoy the smaller smaller size and I think it suits this style of dress piece. A few different case finishes, a few different dial colours and a whole bunch of different strap options. I've gone for a fairly conservative uh, gunmetal black and brown number here today. So I'll get a good close up on the watch, we'll do some dimensions and specifications. No loom shock because there's no loom, no movement accuracy report because there is uh, a quartz movement in here, it's going to be pretty accurate, especially considering it's a Ronda. And I'll tell you what I think is the, the one flaw, the fly in the ointment of what otherwise is a very pleasant little watch. So as mentioned, this is the 37 and a half millimeter diameter version, seven mil thick, so super, super thin, only 43 millimeters lug to lug. But interestingly, even with a smaller size, they've gone for 20 mil lug width. So I think it becomes more suitable for gentlemen it kind of has a bit more wrist presence because of that. It is also easier to swap out if you do want to change the strap, but I don't think you'll want to change this strap. This strap is fantastic. Definitely one of the best leather straps I've come across at any price point, frankly, uh, certainly at this price point. Handcrafted in Germany, genuine leather, look at that. You know that's a quality item, just screams quality. Made in the south of Germany, tanned naturally as it says there, and a lovely little bit of pale blue stitching, that kind of vintage cross stitch just at the lugs there. And the nice blue matching the small second hand, the sub dial just above the six there. I always think a great idea using a small second hand on a quartz piece, it's not as noticeable the fact that it is a quartz piece. Another nice little detail here, pretty simple case, just a kind of bead blasted throughout. They've gone for an interesting crown. Now this is not uh, all round, it is kind of polygonal, you can see there perhaps just little edges there, some angles on it, apparently taking its inspiration from the World Croc in uh, Berlin. So a couple of little touches just deviate this watch from the norm. So a fairly simple dial, this one today, just painted on the minute track around the outside rather than hour markers. I think that's a nice choice. We do have hour markers, just a 369 Island, the Lilienthal Berlin logo up there at 12 o'clock. There's a nice little circle indent there and another little concentric circle just uh, housing the sub dial for the seconds hand. You can possibly make out there's some concentric circles all the way around. So they've kept it clean and that all important made in Germany, just above where the six would normally be. Again, nice simple skeleton handset there. No loom on those hands as mentioned. But the fly in the ointment for me appears when you turn over the case back. Now 50 uh, meters water resistance, not bad at all for a little dress watch. As I usually say, anything over 30 is a bonus for a watch this style. And we've got a Ronda movement. 
It's a super slim quartz 1069, again no bad thing, should be reliable over a number of years, but look at those screws, what were they doing? All three of them have been cheesed. Now made in Germany, you expect better than that. This one comes with a 30 day return policy. See if I got one like that, I think I'd be on the phone to them, I'd be sending them pictures of that. That's not acceptable on a $50 watch, certainly not on one that costs $220. There's just no excuse for that. And there it is sitting on top of my seven inch wrist, super slim profile this one, nice 37 and a half mil size. Very, very comfortable strap. The, the strap definitely the star of the show here today. Again, the bead blasted look on the tang and buckle there. Very nice indeed, unsigned, but bead blasted. So it certainly matches the watch. Love that little uh, blue stitching there. Just catching the blue second hand. A nice color scheme, this one. But as mentioned, there should be one to suit you given the number of choices that there are available. So there you have it, an attractive, simple looking little watch, couple of nice little touches relating back to Berlin from where it hails. Amazing strap, definitely the standout for me today, one of the nicest straps I've looked at. That's probably worth half the price if you look at the strap market these days, but for goodness sake, Lilenthal Berlin, buy a decent set of screwdrivers or find somebody who can put a case back on properly. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.